What is up guys, day five. We're on day five, days are getting long, starting to mush together, We're getting stuff done already. Deegan is working on the siding out front. I have got just about every window removed from this building um, already, except for this back one. I've only, we've only been here for an hour. It's taken me less than that. It took me 30 minutes to get out of the truck. One more window has got a little bit of siding on the outside that we're going to be taking down the doors. Shelby is working on getting the rest of uh, the little siding trim pieces off. All my windows are out. Easy peasy. She's working on getting the rest of those trim pieces off because we're then going to take down all the weather wrap on the OSB and then pull down all this OSB for the most part. Some of this OSB is full sheets. The rest of the stuff is routered around the windows, so it shouldn't be too hard to label it to be able to put it all right back where it is going to go. That, that should be fairly easy if we just number the sheets all the way around the building. Weather's a little bit cool this morning. The wind is blowing. It just uh, sprinkled just a hair. I don't think it's supposed to rain today, but as you can tell, sunny skies, uh, cloudy skies. So we might get a little bit of rain here and there, uh, but we are getting it done. And then, that shell be getting work done right there. Uh, then we are talking to a guy with a boom truck, hoping we can get him here in the next couple days. If not, I'm just gonna round up a few guys uh, and then lift that beam off of there, yard sale it off the building, pick it up, put it in a trailer. That is my plan B, which will probably turn into my plan A We'll see what happens because it is Memorial Weekend. I can't imagine I'm going to get a boom truck guy to come out on a Saturday. So, I can convince my buddies to come hang out on a Saturday. Alright guys, here is the solution to the problem. The boys showed up to help out. We got everyone's opinion on how to take this beam down. Most all of the ideas were dangerous and shitty. Except Sean's. Sean had a good idea. We are going to take this beam, flop it down on the wall, and roll it right off the building. I personally liked Brad's idea the most. Brad wanted to tie his truck to the end of that dude right there and just pull it. I was voting for that one. That would have been great. Um, but right now we're gonna we're gonna go the safer route, I guess. So making progress. All right, guys, down to the second to last day, but we are making our last trip, hopefully, of the, the tiny house. We've got, we've got walls loaded. We popped two tires. We had two flat tires on trailers yesterday, but we got it taken care of. Uh, and now we are going to load this floor in three sections onto a trailer and try to get it all the way to the new spot.
We are finally loaded up, got everything. We got Shelby's truck hauling my mill. Junior's truck is getting my fork attachment because I had to bring my fork attachment to use on my buddies or with my neighbor's tractor. So he's got my fork attachment, Shelby's swing. I've got my floor to the tiny house on my truck in this beast of a trailer. It's a big triple axle, thing hauls everything. And then Brad's got all the walls and a giant beam hanging out the back. I'll show you guys what is left of where the tiny house is at. It's a wreck over here right now, but we got another day to clean up. There's where the tiny house was, guys. You can see the little tracks in there from the from the skids. There was, there's a bunch of eggs back in there. Uh, chickens were laying eggs, and when we were carrying it, we were stepping on them, and they were rotten eggs. So that made it pretty fun. All right, so we're gonna convoy up in five trucks, five vehicles, get them up to the place, uh, our new place, where we don't have the room for three trailers worth of junk. So it's gonna get exciting when we get up there. And then we gotta get some of this stuff offloaded while I've got the help. Some of it we don't. So, day's not over, more to do. Pretty good too, only lost one tie strap, no flat tires, didn't run anyone off the road. Those walls are staged and ready to go. The tractor is staged and ready to go, but they're not ready to go into place yet. We're gonna take them off the, take them off the trailers, get them ready. But we got a clear spot right back in there. That's where the shop is going to go, which is gonna be right next to the orchard. And then we will be able to keep orchard tools and stuff and whatnot in in the shop. So that'll be maybe next weekend that we actually erect the walls, but I'll have to spend all week cleaning that stuff. Um, cleaning, cleaning up a little area and then I'll make it so I can take everything in there with the tractor. So that is it guys. You have watched the complete deconstruction of the tiny house if you want to see the complete reconstruction of the tiny house hit that subscribe button and we will get started on it in about a week or so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one